recently, I finished watching The Queen's Gambit. It's a very good show. I definitely get what all the fuss is about. And you know this sort of feeling you get at the end of a really good series, this sort of a satisfying feeling, seeing everything get all tied up together, uh, making you feel like you spent your time on something that was worth it. Yeah, I hate that feeling, it's it's kind of dumb. So I've decided it's time for me to punish my brain and watch a little bit of Brad TV, the TikToker's Netflix. Hello, boxers. Uh, I tried to call you guys box people in my last video, but a bunch of you were like, uh, no, boxers is better for some reason. I, I want to be a pair of boxers. So that's what you get. Hope you're happy. Brad TV is a phenomenon. It's sort of like a network streaming service type of thing. It has a whole bunch of shows made by TikTokers. It's mainly acted by TikTokers, but sometimes it feels like it's also written uh, directed and edited by ones as well. And it's massive. Almost every show they have going on over there has multiple seasons, and every episode of every season has millions and millions of views. I'm not sure if the main chunk of the audience is made out of people like me, uh, who watch it because it's funny, or people who actually think these shows are good and love them for that. Either way, it doesn't matter, because I, I think that at the end of the day, everyone can enjoy a little bit of Brat TV. So this is what we're gonna do for this episode of Pinely. Uh, we're gonna go over these shows, get a little taste of them, and see how all of them are actually tied up like a big uh, Brat TV cinematic universe. You might think I'm kidding or something, but I'm not. All these TikTok shows are actually connected to each other. The very first show we're gonna talk about is Chicken Girls. It's been running on the Brat TV channel for the past three years now, all the way back when TikTokers were musically stars. Now, I have a question for you. I want you boxers in the comments uh, to guess without cheating. How many seasons of Chicken Girls do you think have been released during that time span? How much is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five? I could keep naming numbers all day long, though it would be kind of insane if it was five seasons in three years. I mean, that, that's quite a lot. Seven seasons and a movie. There are seven seasons and a movie of Chicken Girls. What the hell does Chicken Girls even mean? According to my calculations, this shows that it took them less time to make the episode than the length of the actual episode itself. That might not make any sense to you, but you gotta believe me. So I watched the very first episode of Chicken Run, and it's mainly just about a bunch of kids that are friends and are in school. I know that's a pretty gripping topic. Uh, you're on the edge of your seat already. That's why the first episode has around 17 million views. So these two are talking. They're very excited for their very first day of school. I mean, look at how excited they are. They're, they can't even handle it. My sister and I really bonded this summer. You and your sister haven't gotten along since she started dating Henry. They broke up. Really? After they broke up, she got like really into photography and now she's taking pictures for the school newspaper. Check it out. Man, what an interesting conversation. So then we meet this kid. And from what I've gathered, she isn't part of the original uh, chicken group. These two already have so much sass and personality to them. I don't know, adding another one into the mix, uh, that, that sounds like a bit of a dangerous game if you ask me. Kayla! Who's Kayla? We met at dance camp, you're gonna love her! Ah, oh, gosh, who's Kayla? Maybe it's the girl that excitedly ran towards us when you called out her name? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Can't be it. Hey, Queen, this is my friend Kayla. Ellie's been helping me prep for team tryouts. There's only three spots on the dance team this year. Me, Ellie, and Rhyme. Yeah, I heard all about the chicken girls and that dance you did when you were five. And your friendship bracelets. Holy shit, they got friendship bracelets? Man, Kayla, I'd get the hell out of there if I was you. These girls are intense. I've heard about your friendship bracelets. I wonder how that little tale was told. Hey, you heard about the chicken pot girls? You know, the ones that did the dance? when they were five? Uh, yeah, obviously. Everyone in this town knows that dance. Yeah, uh, they got friendship bracelets now. Uh, okay. Something I really liked is that even though this episode is only five minutes long, they very naturally managed to ease you into this world and get you to learn about all these uh, different interesting kind of characters they have. O-M-G. It's the soccer team. Tall guy, Henry, he used to date Quinn's sister. That Henry? Our moms are friends. We used to like take baths together. Baths? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is great. And I know what you must be thinking. Pinely, Jesus Christ, this is so good. Uh, almost as good as some freshly squeezed orange juice on a sunny day. And I know you love that freshly squeezed orange juice life. How the fuck could they keep up with this insane quality for seven whole seasons? And a movie. I don't know, but if anyone can do it, it's the chickens. So I just skipped to episode one of season seven to, to see what they're up to now. It's apparently a completely different cast. I assume that what happened to the old one is that they were up to some kind of crazy adventure uh, that eventually led to their own unfortunate death. 
I am Mr. Giamara. I'll be your English teacher for today and the foreseeable future. Let's start with a roll call. Rebecca Anderson. Claire Fitzroy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is a, a funny name. Man, this guy's sick. I love it when shows and movies have the cool teacher character. Like, I I'm Mr. Harrison, but just call me Harry. Awesome. Mr. Com. Eggie, Eggie. Eggie, Eggie, Eggie. All right, boys. That was just one singular boy. What are you talking about, teach? Also, that's so awkward just chanting your own name in a class of eight people. That, that's a sad life, just in general, having to chant your own name so people don't forget who you are. Imagine if you met me and then I started going all crazy and started chanting my, my name over and over again. Pine Lee, Pine Lee, Pine Lee, Pine Lee, Pine Lee. Like a goddamn nutcase. You'd just be standing there not knowing what to do. Anyways, the next show on our list is Crown Lake. Uh, this one is also about a school. I guess that's just what you have to do uh, when you need to create a cast that's solely made out of teenage TikTokers. But there's a bit of a twist because this school is actually a boarding school with a bunch of rich girls in it. The show follows this one girl called Nellie and her adventures in this brand new place. She's a half orphan. I'm not sure if that's a thing. You know, her mom's dead. When a person, I, I assume to be her dad, drops her off at her new school, he tells her, Hey, you know, this place kind of sucks. All the people you're gonna meet here are the worst. Some of the most horrible human beings you'll ever meet in your whole life. Anyways, I uh, love you. Goodbye. And you gotta think, why are you sending your daughter to this place, man? Do, do you purposefully want her to have a bad time? This is like the next, I don't know, five years of her life. That's quite significant. Gosh, we, we haven't even started watching this. Uh, and I'm already too invested. So after the dad ditches her, she goes inside and brings in all of her luggage. And these girls are doing a choreographed dance. At this point, I would probably just go back, you know, maybe live a nice, quiet life in the woods. I'd like to give you a warm welcome to Crown Lake Academy. Here are you, Miss Merriweather? Headmistress Merriweather. And you should have been here five minutes ago. I think this scene is supposed to make the headmistress look mean, but I think I might be siding with her. Nelly was late and she interrupted her in the middle of our talking. That's insanely rude. What, what a horrible first impression. Where's my luggage? <laughs> Did she actually just give up that easily? Nelly, that, that's all of your stuff. You need that to live. Jesus Christ, show some kind of ambition. So Nellie arrives to her room and meets, uh, Satan, basically. I'm Tiffany St. Martin, of the Upper East Side St. Martins, not the Scarsdale St. Martins. Oh. You have your own cell phone? Don't you? Uh, my dad has a beeper. But Beepers are for drug dealers. Yeah, she's really horrible. I forgot to state that this show is set in the 90s for some reason, so that's why she's holding this really old ass phone. Where's all your stuff? My luggage is lost. How'd you let that happen? It's a long story. It's a long story? Uh, no, it's not. It just disappeared. And you decide to be quite passive about the whole thing. Oh, so that happened like a minute ago. She was even standing there laughing at you. Did, did both of them just hit their heads on, on their way back to the room? Adoe's claim to fame is the Oh Mama omelet. They serve it at my dad's coffee shop. He does this thing where he whips the eggs until they turn to foam, so the omelet cooks extra fluffy. Sorry I had to hang up. I had to deal with my new roommate. Ugh, I can't believe they made me get another one. Yeah, sorry I had to hang up. I have this really dumb fucking idiot in my room talking to me. Hey, is this about me? So the mean girls are doing their little dance routine again, but this time, Nellie's not just gonna sit by and watch. She wants to join in on the fun, even though she doesn't even know what the dance routine is. And these girls, probably don't like her that much. Yeah, this will probably turn out great. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so Man, this girl's really dumb. What, what did she even think would happen? How did she think that was gonna help her in any way? Uh, later on, Nellie finds some kind of diary from a girl that was in the room before her. It's probably important to the plot of the show, but I don't really care. This show has two seasons, and I'm just planning on watching this one episode. Two seconds after that, uh, the mean girl from her room is back, and she's talking shit about her again, uh, right in front of her. But this time, Nellie decides to activate her brain powers, and realizes that she 
is the actual subject of this conversation. If you're gonna badmouth me, at least do it when I'm not five feet away. Ho oh, ho, th this is getting spicy. Oh my god. By the way, Ryan? He's mine. I thought you already had a boyfriend. That guy on your nightstand? That's my brother, Evan. Yeah, I can relate to that. I also like to keep a, a nice professional photograph of my brother right next to my bed. It's a good way to remind myself there's always someone out there who has my back. This episode does end on a very sweet note though. Nelly goes outside of her room to sleep on the couch where she has a very nice dream about her mom getting killed. Uh, sweet dreams, Nelly. Good night. Yeah, this episode was really something. I will say that the child actors in this are not horrible, they're, they're just kind of bad. Really, it's the same level as something you'd see from a Disney Channel actor, uh, just a kid doing their very best. It's every other part of this that is kind of bad, you know, writing, directing, all that important stuff. But it's also what makes it great, in my eyes. So I I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend you watch the entirety of the two seasons of this great, great show. Okay, now now we've reached my personal favorite one on this list. Attaway General. The, the greatest show of all time. If you say otherwise, go fuck yourself. Breaking Bad? More like bad. Drew Good had made a funny video about Attaway General a few months ago, uh, so we're just gonna skip over the bits he talked about. All you need to know is that there are a bunch of kids that are for some reason working at a hospital. We got this kid who looks like he could be another Dobre brother. He has a pretty interesting background. So, why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juvie. These two have a romantic thing going on. Same goes for this girl, who really wants to be a doctor, and this kid, who has a heart disease. Now that we're on the same page, let's continue. We're gonna watch episode 5 now. I'm gonna warn you in advance there's gonna be a fake injury on screen. It's gonna look really, really fake. But if that still makes you uncomfortable, you can skip a bit ahead. Oh my- <gasps> You're not helping. What the heck happened? Ugh, <laughs> uh, what the- You. As if my day gonna get any worse. You guys know each other? He's the one that did this to me. Ow! Jack! I, I wanna analyze this scene for just a second. This guy is just chilling there with an arrow in his leg. Why the hell is no one helping this poor kid? But I'm guessing that this is the help that was sent? Oh my- <gasps> Ah, I just got shot. Someone, please, please help me. Ah, oh, man, that's- that's disgusting. You want me to- you want me to touch that? And then the Dobre kid pops up doing God knows what vlogging? I don't know, apparently he's the one that did this to him. And instead of getting help, he plays with the arrow that's inside of his leg. Man, everyone at this hospital should be fired. Like, now. Chad, don't do that. Hey, give it back! No! Hey, hey! Okay, you need to calm down. You're in no state for a fight. Yeah, you know, this guy with the arrow inside of his leg, he's definitely the one that's in the wrong in this whole situation. Alright, it's time for us to see what our little lovebirds are up to now. Something that you should know is that their relationship keeps flip-flopping back and forth. At the beginning of an episode, they'll be together, then not together, and then they'll be back because they realize that love always wins at the end. In this episode, it's the opposite. So they start off not together, yes together, then uh, not together. I'll catch up with you. Georgia. Georgia, wait up. I can't, I'm late for something. Late for what? Jeez, can you please take a hint and leave me alone? You can't just not talk to me forever. Like you said, it's a small hospital. Hey, uh, the door is closed. Oh well, I wouldn't be too worried because about two minutes later, uh, they settle their little argument and fall back in love. I got you flowers. Congratulations on your new baby. Really nice. For your information, I had to find a mother and a newborn for these. Oh, uh, you're so sweet. I, I can't believe you robbed a mother for me. I feel so special. Is that Charlie D'Amelio or the other one? I can't really tell. Well, either way, she shouldn't be allowed to get even close to a hospital. Same goes to all of her friends. Even if they get some kind of injury or something, it's really too much of a risk. They come in and steal shit. They cause more injuries instead of taking care of them. This entire episode, they haven't helped one person. Not a single soul. All they've done is just walk around and have their little dramas with each other as if this is high school or something. And I know what's the question in everybody's mind. Pinely, Pinely. Oh dear Pinely, how does this all tie up? 
Us boxers really want to know what's the connection between these three shows and the seemingly billions of others that they have on this channel. Well, this is what I've gathered so far. Chicken Girls is set in Attaway, which is a fake town. Nelly in Crown Lake is originally from Attaway. Ho <laughs> ho, things are getting spicy. And Attaway General is probably also in Attaway. And that's and that's it. That's that's really all I got. They have over 600 videos on this channel. You, you can't seriously expect me to watch all of that. Someone in the comments uh, tried to explain it. Well, basically, you know, this is Junior's daughter, Joe's brother's daughter. And if you remember the holiday spectacular, there was a boy that couldn't find his mom or something. And there was a woman that was like crying or something. That was Nelly all grown up because in the end, Junior and Nelly reunited and they said her kid was named Joe, just like her aunt. To sum it all up, if you watched a girl named Joe, which I haven't, then Nelly is just her niece. Man, this is complicated. So I still don't really get anything, so I try to watch this video of this girl explaining what's going on. Props to her for understanding all of this, because I still don't. I feel really dumb. The fact it's all tied up is essentially just a way for them to get you to watch more and more shows, and, you know, I can't really knock that. So I'm gonna do it as well. Let's go. So, you know how in my last video I've mentioned that I really like freshly squeezed orange juice? Uh, that ties in perfectly to this episode of Pinely, because I say it again. And you know how I also made these videos on Shane Dawson's movies? Yeah, that's just because I'm trying to get his attention. You see, Shane Dawson is actually my older brother, and I have a lot of respect for him. Also, you know how I made that one VR chat video that didn't do too well? Uh, I don't want to spoil too much about that one because it's so, so important to the ICUP, the Internet Cinematic Universe of Pinely. But you should really watch that one if you want to understand uh, and fully grasp the full scope of what's going on. Please?